Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJS PRC. Uh, I want to show you guys today how to solder XT90s because I was asked by somebody to show them, show how to do it. Now, Mustafa, if you're listening, this is for you, buddy. Basically, it's you have your XT90s here, and you what you need to do is thin the connector and your wire at the same time to achieve this kind of kind of a job here that's holding. What you want to do is basically you're going to remove the shielding off your wire. What I do, I twist them a bit. And what you're going to do, you're going to thin your wire. Try to show you guys here. Take your iron, hold it on your wire. What I do, I start touching the iron a bit with the solder until I feel the wire starts wicking it. Once it's the wire starts taking the solder, I go directly to the wire now. And it's slowly going, there we go. Now, you don't want to put too much and you don't want to put a, not enough. You want the perfect amount. Basically, what you want is to make sure the complete wire is full of solder. You don't want any bare spots. I turn it around. That's perfect. Now, what you want to do is thin your connector now. If you guys can see it, there's nothing. It's perfectly the gold color. Now you're going to thin your connection again. You don't want to, you don't want to put in too much, not enough. If you put too much, what's going to happen is basically it's going to over overflow. And if you don't put enough, you're going to get a cold solder. After a while, you'll be able to judge it if you have enough or not enough. Now, I tend my connector. What I'm going to do is heat up my wire now. And I'm going to keep it there for a couple of seconds or two until I feel the solder on the wire start melting itself. Now, I'm going to do both of them together. And you'll, you'll feel it. There's the, this one just went like taking a knife, a uh, hot knife on butter. You'll feel it just go in. Now, once that's done, basically your connection is soldered. Now, if I grab this, it holds on. They're both soldered to it. I can pull on it. Now, once you did this side, you do the other side, depending on the kind of X 60s your 90s, should I say, some will have a cap, some will use shrink tube. Don't forget to put your shrink tube if you're using shrink tube. If not, you'll need to unsolder and restart. Now, if you have any questions or comment, post down below. If you like this video, hit that like button in the corner here. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Thank you.